Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a pop swipe on Tramp Wall. Pop swipes are a lot of fun, and since they're basically a cross between a 540 kick, a 360 face pop, and a vampire, the more of those you can already do, the quicker and easier this learning process is going to be. Pop swipes are mostly driven by the adductors of your kicking leg, so make sure you warm up your legs and hips thoroughly before training to reduce the risk of straining your muscles. Also, as usual, I recommend wearing wrestling shoes to protect your feet. So, as you can see, a pop swipe is a modified 360 face pop that resembles a 540 kick. To do one, run the wall and initiate the trick just like a vampire. Actively leave your chest down and back, push upward through your hips and knees, Tap quickly and early by striking the wall with your foot, and extend your non-kicking leg up and out to the side. From here, swing the kicking leg up and over the top in a circular motion. As the kick brings your legs together, bend your non-kicking leg, re-anchor using your kicking foot about three quarters of the way through the twist, and use it to square up as you push off to your back and complete the trick. Now, while various tap configurations are technically possible, they tend to look and feel pretty cumbersome, so to keep things simple and clean, I like to tap, kick, and re-anchor all using the same foot. Also, notice that unlike a regular pop full, where everything turns in unison, in a pop swipe, your kick is going to carry your lower body slightly ahead of your torso. This slight disconnect between upper and lower body is a byproduct of approaching your pop swipe like a real kick as you'll notice the same exact thing happens when kicking a ball or doing martial arts. Now, as far as visual reference points go, as I run the wall, I like to spot an imaginary target above the corner, then as I start the kick and turn over, my gaze shifts to the face of the wall. I keep my eyes here until my foot re-anchors, then I sneak an extremely quick glance at the trampoline to assess my placement and make any necessary adjustments as I push off into a wall run. Now that you understand the technique, let's take a look at a simple way to learn by converting a regular 360 face pop into a pop swipe. Alright, no surprises here, but in step 1, you'll begin with a regular face pop full. Step 2, tap earlier and with more of a striking action like a vampire. Step 3, actively leave your chest down and hips up as you leave the bed so you get more inverted. For step 4, tap and re-anchor using the same foot. If you twist left, that'll be your right foot, and vice versa. In step 5, as you tap, you're going to open your other leg out to the side, and maintain this open hip position throughout the trick. In step 6, you're going to emphasize the disconnect between your upper and lower body instead of turning everything in unison. At this point, all that's left to do is straighten both legs into your takeoff. As the kick brings the legs together, bend the non-kicking one by pulling your heel towards your butt and enjoy your shiny new pop swipe. Alright, next let's take a look at a few supplemental drills that you can use to really dial in the specific facets of technique. First up, we have Swing 540s. These are pretty straightforward. If you twist left, you're going to stand on your left foot, then swing your right leg up and over like you're jumping over an imaginary fence. Jump off your left foot as you do, pivot, and land on your right foot to complete the trick. Our next drill is for the 540 kick mechanics. For this one, you're going to recline on a nice big mat, do this fan motion, and as your kicking leg passes through vertical, bend the other leg by pulling your heel towards your butt. Once that feels natural, try to kick with enough force to carry you all the way over to your kicking foot. Our next drill simulates the feeling of setting into your pop swipe. For this, you're going to stand beside the big mat on your kicking foot, swing your other leg upward, and then blast a kick over it to land on your side. For our next drill, cover the springs and bed with a mat, then lay close to the wall on your back. From here, you're going to simulate the takeoff in slow motion by planting your tap foot low, extending your other leg and hips upward, then kicking up and over to turn yourself over onto your stomach. Our last drill is a modified cat twist. This one will help you practice disconnecting your torso from your lower body by setting up with your non-kicking leg, then using the kick to twist instead of just turning everything together. 
Let's take a look at a few common pop swipe mistakes and how to either fix them or just avoid them outright. First and foremost, if you stall out at the halfway point, your safest option is probably bailing to your feet and killing your bounds, but since even this can be sketchy, I recommend getting a friend to throw mats for you until you feel completely comfortable with the trick. In any case, if you do stall out like this, it tends to indicate that you didn't put enough power into the kick, tapped and initiated the trick too late, or just got caught staring at the trampoline. This trick requires full commitment and constant motion from start to finish. Just like a vampire, you need to initiate the tap almost immediately after leaving the bed, and a half-hearted kick that just snaps and goes loose isn't going to be enough to carry you through the entire trick, so kick like you mean it. With that in mind, other kicking issues include kicking in a linear way instead of a circular one, which won't work, or keeping both legs straight the entire time, which won't look like a 540. That said, if you keep your legs closed or bent, there won't even be a kick in the first place. Make sure you're starting with your legs extended and open, swinging your kicking leg in an arc, and bending the other leg as they come together. The kick direction can also be a bit confusing. Even though you set your legs upward into the trick, the kick itself happens more off to the side. Don't be in a rush to look for the trampoline, as this might throw your timing off, and also, make sure you're not kicking in one direction while looking somewhere else. On a related note, if everything twists together, it's gonna look more like a regular 360 face pop than a pop swipe, so don't be afraid to let your torso lag slightly behind your lower body during the kick. Lastly, in terms of placement issues, this trick does require you to stay pretty close to the wall, and that can feel a bit claustrophobic at first. If you're genuinely too close, there is a risk of catching a leg or foot on top of the wall, so if you find yourself in this situation, I recommend bending your limbs and pushing off the face of the wall to stay safe. On the other end of the spectrum, if you push too far out, you won't be able to re-anchor before you go to your back. If this happens, try not to panic and just use the next bounce to redirect yourself back into a wall run. On that note, I'm going to wrap things up, but I hope this video gave you everything you need to learn pop swipes. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in coaching or workshops, you can always message me on Instagram at Scott A. McDonald. Until next time, good luck and happy training.